Hey guys, it's Merit. So today I'm going to go over my July yeses and nos, the products that I either bought in July or absolutely love and just rediscovered in July. Now, if you see any moving around, Roxy decided to jump up on my lap as soon as I started filming, so why not? We're just going to go with it. Um, my first product that I'm going to go over is from The Body Shop, and I love the Strawberry Shea Butter. It smells like the strawberry candy that you stick it as a kid, you know, with the red and green wrappers. I don't know why. I absolutely love this stuff. I carry it with me in my bag. Um, I put it on as soon as I'm out of the shower, and I really do feel like my skin just stays nice and hydrated. And it's not so overwhelmingly sweet that you're like, oh, what is that smell? It's more like, oh, I kind of smell like strawberries, and it's a good thing. So this I'm absolutely in love with. The tub will last you, like, years. It's just so much in there. So, definitely a big thumbs up. All of the scents smell really good. Um, I think there was one that's either a mango or a peach that smells really, really yummy, too. So, I'm going to go get that one as well. Um, my next product is from Stila. Now, those of you who know me know I'm a huge Stila junkie. I've never really found a product that I don't absolutely love. No, I really... Actually, I've never found a product that I don't love. Um, now, this is, let's read the actual name, the Stay All Day Prime and Anti-Shine Balm. Now, what I like about this is it just works into your skin, but when you go and you put it all over, it makes your skin feel like velvet. It fills in any fine lines. I really like it if you're starting to notice a little bit of um, fine lines or something right here. It just kind of helps fill that in. But any large pores, anything, it just makes your skin feel like velvet. Um, I really like it. I feel like my makeup stays on longer too and I'm less shiny throughout the day. The only thing I don't like, go ahead and throw away this. Like, I, use your hands. Your hands melt everything in better. It feels better. I carry it with me and I'll use this a lot of times um, in our humidity instead of doing a powder which can get cakey. I'll put this on instead and I just find that it takes away any of the excess shine. Next product is something I think everybody should have. Guys, girls, everybody should have this. It's from Origins and this is the Super Spot Remover. I'll tell you, I went um, to bed last night with this on because I had Mount Vesuvius erupting right here and I woke up this morning and it was gone. This stuff, no matter how bad a blemish is, you wake up and it's gone. So, this is great. And it doesn't make your skin feel patchy. I love blemish removers, but I hate whenever I wake up. And, I mean, yeah, it takes away the blemish, but you've got, like, this huge dry, chunky patch. This doesn't do that. My next two products are actually lip products. And this one is from Lancome, and it's the Lip Lover. And it is 339. I think it's like fuchsia something, like fierce fuchsia. I don't know. It's really good. The lip lovers are actually a hybrid between a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip balm. You'll see. Where is camera? There we go. It's this really pretty, nice fuchsia that goes on kind of more subtle than what you would imagine. And what's great about it is all the formulas. Once the shine starts going away, you're left with this really, really good stain of color. But since it has a lip balm base, it doesn't dry out. My next product, I know a thousand and one of you have seen these. And this is from Yves Saint Laurent. And the exact name is... I forget. Whatever. Everybody knows what these are. This is number nine. It's the lip gloss stains everyone was raving about. Now, I'll fully admit, when I first got this, I was like, eh. I mean, I know it's Yves Saint Laurent, but whatever. This color is amazing. It's like that perfect orangey red. You put this on in the morning. You go. You eat lunch. Everything. They do not budge. I want every single one of these colors in my makeup kit, and I want every single one of these colors in my makeup bag at all times. I will tell you... One day I walked out of the house and totally realized I did not have on blush. Just put a little bit on the back of your hands, work it on your cheeks, you're good. It stays all day. So, I love these. And then, let's see. 
My next product is also from Lancome, and this is the Seals Booster. Now, I've tried a thousand and one different lash primers, and what I usually notice is it makes my eyelashes look almost clumpy, feathery, not cuteness, nobody needs this, stay away, stay away, run like the wind. This one goes on really smooth, and what you'll see is it's just white, and when you paint it on your lashes, it has just this goodness, basically. You paint it on, you put on your mascara, it helps keep it on all day. It does not make them clumpy, it doesn't make them just look gross. Just to actually help separate, add length. I love this. This, I'm gonna, I can never run out of, no. My next two products, yeah, I've got a lot. I bought a lot of stuff in July and found a lot of stuff that I forgot I had, are both skincare. And the first product is the Evian Mister. It's one of those, you don't really have to have it, but I really like it, especially if you're working with a foundation that's not wanting to move, not wanting to budge. You just spray a little bit all over your face and take in a buffing brush and start working it in. And it really helps kind of move foundation. What I really like about it though is it instantly cools down skin. So I'll toss this in the refrigerator before I'm getting ready to do my makeup. If I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on with my skin? I'll put this on, put on a moisturizer, and all of a sudden my skin looks glowy again. So this is awesome. Also carry it to the beach. Oh, so good. Really helps cool you down. My next product, I've had this thing for so long, and I honestly forgot I had it because I bought the jumbo size, and I was like, oh, you know, it's good. I was trying to take off super heavy duty waterproof eye makeup and it was not moving anywhere and I went for my Bioderma. Now this is the Bioderma Creoline H2O. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't stain, it doesn't burn, it'll take off everything from waterproof eye makeup to just basic makeup. And what I really like is I'll use it as my pre-cleanse before I go in and actually wash my face and it takes off all traces of makeup, makes your skin feel clean without feeling like over dried out or anything like that and so this is my baby I've had this for a year and that's how much I've used and I tend to use it like a good amount I totally forgot about it this month or for about a month but I use this a lot so it'll last for forever and my next product that I it's just so good I really think everyone needs this is the Orbe dry texture spray now, I'll totally admit, I let this run out. I'd used it for about a year at the salon I worked at. This was, you know, you always use this product. It gives a lot of volume. It helps get rid of greasy roots if you're on like second day or third day hair. So, I used it. I liked it. Forgot about it. And I tried using one of those shakers to put like at the roots to get volume. Yeah, those things dry the snot out of my hair. <laughs> it made my roots stand up and go funky and look like, I don't know, just sandy. It was not cuteness. I hated it. I immediately had to go and wash my hair like four times. So I immediately ran out and got this. And what's great about this can is it goes, and you just spray it right at your roots, massage in, and then if you go in and back comb, Makes your back comb stay like all day. No one's business. So good. So I love this. It also smells really, really good too. And my last favorite is going to be the Cynthia Rally Black Eyeliner. Now, these don't say that they're waterproof, but it's one of the few things that will actually stay in my waterline. And you can see it's really, really pretty black, but you can also smudge it out. And these are just really nice. If you want to use them as a base for a smoky eye, you can just sketch it all over your eyelid and then just blend in. And it stays really pretty. But it's a nice, true, deep black. I really like it. And I kind of think the packaging is adorable because I'm a sucker for polka dots. Now, I only have one no for this month. And I have to say, like, I'm usually a huge fan of this product or like this brand, but the NYX Eye Eyebrow Pencil 
and 901 soft black. First of all, A, the fact that they use, even use soft in the name for this is kind of funny. This is the hardest eye pencil I have ever tried. I sharpened it. I even lit it with a match to like help melt it down. This sucker would not blend. It wouldn't stay in your waterline. Even getting it near your waterline, I was like so careful. I really wanted to like this because I love NYX. I think their stuff is so good. Like the matte lip colors, the lip butters, the lip glosses. Like I love their stuff. Their HG finish powder. Oh, it's just as good as the Makeup Forever one, but it's like a 20th of the price. I really, really wanted to like this. Let me show you like the pencil, no matter how much you sharpen this, it just has kind of a yucky residue on it. And it's not even a like true black, it's almost a gray. It's just not good. It's and it won't completely blend, which really, really irritates me because if I'm gonna use a black eyeliner and I wanna smudge it out, no matter how much you move and like try and work with this, I tried this for a week. I really wanted to like this. Did not go well. <laughs> so guys, this is Merit and this is my July yeses and no's and I hope you enjoyed and if you like, please subscribe and click on the link below. Thanks so much and have a great day.